Hey everyone and welcome back to VFX Vibe once again. So in today's video, we are going to see if we want to change any logo inside Nick. If, suppose that in this video, if you can see, I want to change Adidas logo with Puma. So how we can do that? We are going to see in today's video. So without any delay, let's get started. Okay, here we can see uh, in this footage, I have video in which camera is moving handheld and if you can see I have shoes box and on which Adidas is mentioned and uh, to track this data in a good way what I did I just put some uh, tracking markers might be you can add a uh, red marker or green marker whatever you want if you can see we have a very good information I have changed the logo of Adidas to Puma although if you can see it last, I am having a little color shift over here that can be managed easily. So how I did that, let's start with scratch. So what I'm going to do that I'm going to copy paste this footage. And firstly, you need to understand if there is any kind of movement, we have to track that information, right? So for these kind of footages or for these kind of information, planar tracking will be the good option. But if you want to track, you can go for camera tracking as well. So what I'm going to do, just I'm going to take a node called planar tracking, right? I'm going to connect it. And what I'm going to do, I'm going on first frame and I'm going to draw a shape, something like that. And after drawing my shape, let me adjust a little. It should not be mandatory that it should be parallel to each other. But uh, yes, I have to manage shape as well. And from here, I'm going to track forward. OK, my tracking has been done and I'll cross check my tracking. And I think it's doing pretty good. So if I'll find any kind of sliding manually, I can fix it. But uh, for this information or for this case, uh, it's OK for me now. What else we need to do after tracking? First thing first, you need to clean this information, right? You want to clean this information. Otherwise, what will happen? Anything you are going to put over it, the background will be visible. So I need to clean it up. So to save some time, what I did, I have my clean plate available over here. So already I made multiple clean plates videos. If we want to see that, you can go and can see that. So here I what I have, I have my clean plate ready, right? So I did my clean plate inside Nuke itself. And what I am going to do now, see very important thing you need to understand. If you're doing planar tracking, you need to take it about that where you want to fit corners or where you don't want to fit corners, right? So for this case, what I'm going to do, I'm going to export from here, I need to select my BJ shape and over here, I'm going to export corner pin 2D relative. I'm not going to export absolute, right? So I'm going to export that thing. And after that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a node called Roto because I need this much area. So I'm going to cut this area, something like that. And I'm going to take merge. I'm going to hit M on keyboard and I'm going to connect my Roto with this and I'm going to mask it. So what will happen? My this much area will be visible. And after that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect my corner pin 2D with this. And if I'm going to play it, what will happen? It will automatically going to move with my motion, right? And after that, I'm going to take one merge node and I'm going to connect this. So what will happen? Our clean plate is ready, but there will be a one problem. Like you can see easily there is a shift in color, right? Because in first frame it is little dark, but when I'm moving with my camera, what's happening? The color is or light is shifting, right? So what I can do first thing first, I'm going to take a node called blur or edge blur. You can take edge blur as well and I'm going to soften it. A little not much i'm going to soften it a little and after that i'm going to take one grade node one grade node right after that or might be you can take before blur as well it's it's all up to you and now what i'm going to do i am going to set my key on first frame in gain in gamma right now i am going to frame number 70 and i'm going to match my 
color right something like that in fact i connected in a wrong pipe so i need to connect over here right it's not correct so what i'm going to do i'm going to fix my this thing something like that and might be gain as well i can reduce gain a little okay so here as i can see i spend it some more time and it's all matched so if you want to match this area as well so what i'll suggest i'll suggest to take one grade node one more grade node or color corrector node and i'm going to take a roto node and probably i can select from this much area and i'm going to hit z on keyboard e on keyboard just to activate my double poly and if i'm going to connect it so as you can see when i'm going to change anything in this gamma only this area will be activated and now as i can see it's all matched so i'm going to set key on first frame i am going to probably lower down so this is we can do this much we can match yes it's matching perfectly fine for me and now little here and there as i can see i am getting over here so might be i can change little over here as well anytime i can come and i can change it something like that as well right so this is the way how we can fix all these glitches and all and your light shifting will be calculated and light shifting will be matched now the main point is how i can i cleaned that thing but now the main thing is how i can place my logo right it's pretty simple i have my logo over here i have my logo so i'm going to connect it and it's in alpha of course so what i can do i can take a constant node and let me make it white and i'm going to connect this to this and multiply it or mask it whatever you want so what will happen your logo will be white so i want my logo should white and i'm going on frame number first and i'm going to connect it pretty simple right so what will happen it won't match right so what i can do i can take a transform node and i can scale it down and i can rotate it sorry and i can place it so of course it's too big so i am going to scale it down of course the rotation is offset so what i can do i can rotate it as per my requirement requirement so as i'm thinking that it's all perfectly lined up and but if i'm going to play it it won't go with the motion because i need to add my this information to new logo as well so when i'm going to play it what will happen my logo will move with the camera movement right but few more things we need to change as you can see over here in our actual footage my this information is not pure white but here i have pure white so what i can do now i can go to constant and i'm going to select this and i'm going to pick my color from here right so what will happen my color will match to my original one pretty simple see and second thing if you can see i have little motion blur over here as well but when in here we don't have motion blur so to match motion blur i'm going over here and might be motion blur i can put one so what will happen little motion blur you'll find so how we can do that just see without motion blur with motion blur if you want more motion blur might be you can use a uh, shutter angle but i think that this much motion blur will work see if you can see we have a lot of motion blur as well as per this information right apart from that if you can see our original footage we are having little fringing over here right little fringing not much reddish information we are getting on edges or again another side we are having purplish kind of fringing as well which is called chromatic aberration so we can add chromatic aberration as well so what i'm going to do i'm going to update my plugins and i'm going to hit tab and chromatic aberration it will come and of course what i need to take care about i don't want that much but red information is this side so of course a uh, red translation i can shift to this side and might be i can 
increase the blue or not i don't want blue to be increased something like that a little hint right so if i'm going to see closely you can see i am having my fringing and as we can see over here i have fringing as per my original one right so this is the way how we can do our logo replacement and i'll suggest you to please spend some more time to just tweak your tracking just tweak your color information which is shifting but in this case it's all working pretty fine so i'm hoping that this technique will help you and if you think that this technique is helping you please don't forget to like this video share this video and if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe with this said this is vfx vibe signing off have a good day